Hey, Don here. Hey, I'm going to do another live stream, and this video is going to be about what's in the black box. And what is in that little black box is a TP Link, I'm sorry, D Link router. I'm checking my stream. Let me make sure everything is working with it. And, uh, time I've got it over on the laptop. Okay, so um, <clears throat> I did a previous video about the D-Link router and I did some, I went through all the settings of the Wi-Fi and all that junk, but I couldn't show it on my, uh, you know, uh, remote uh, desktop video because of the way everything is in here, the way I have things set up. Uh, I can't even think how to say it, but anyway, I'm going to get this uh, router out of this box. I think it's kind of cool. Put it in, I guess they did it because it black, you know, looks good with orange and all that. Just want to make it look good. But, most, you know, most manufacturers don't make a, get a little special box, you know. They don't do anything special like that. So uh, I thought, what the heck, I'll just uh, put it in the video, uh, leave it in there and get it out, you know. Anyway, uh, I've had it out before. I actually did a little unboxing video of it. And, uh, and the, everything, everything you know, they leave in the little box that the uh, cables and stuff come, or the black box, and it's kind of neat. I thought it was kind of fun, you know. So, um, and I, like I said, I've already done a video and hooked it up and got it halfway set up, but I haven't put it in its place of the TP link. I accidentally said TP link. That's what I'm going to be replacing, is the TP link. Uh, so I'm gonna do that today, tonight, this morning. Now this is what comes with it. Okay, do it like this. Um, well, that's the little manual and the paper, you know, some guarantee papers and stuff, license papers. A little card with your default password and all. Put that somewhere. I'm gonna put it in here. It'll fall. I know it'll fall out if I put it in the manual, but uh, I'm not going to be reading. Oh, reading the. <laughs> um, that's what you do with the antennas. Very different ones. I've never seen another one, any other router like that. But um, comes with a, a different. I thought it. I thought it looked crappy at first, but I. You know, it's probably not any less quality than any others. But it's flat. Uh, instead of round, the uh, Ethernet cable that comes with it. And, uh, I mean, it's not very long, so even if it wasn't the highest quality, what matters is the copper inside, you know, and uh, as far as the transmission ability and everything. It sets crooked on purpose. The, uh, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but the feet are very, it makes it lean, uh, which I guess is just, I don't know, I don't really know why they did it, but uh, maybe just because they thought it made it look cool. Um, it will kind of aim the light down a little bit, you know. So, uh, <clears throat> well, I'm going to have it up on top of a desktop computer over here. So that'll actually probably be just fine. It'll kind of aim the light down. My, my biggest, well, you want to be able to see the light good. Of course, it's one big light, so <laughs> it, <clears throat> so it... Uh, and when I was reading about them and deciding which one I wanted, um, people said, look, one comment said they thought it looked like a spaceship. First thing I thought of when I saw it is a house. And uh, maybe, I don't know if it's showing up in the camera, you know, the, looking like a house to you, but um, if you can see it has a pitched roof and everything. Let me tilt it up some more. Oops. And... Uh, I got a bad delay in my video, so it's throwing me off. It doesn't want to stay like that, which it's not meant to. But yeah, I see the pitch in the roof. <laughs> so I just thought of it a house. Now, the orange, now if it was red and black, red's my favorite color, and black goes with everything. <laughs> I, would, I would really think it was cool looking. Orange is all right, but you know, I always used to like Chevrolet orange for my motors because I always like Chevy engines. But <laughs> other than that, um, I'm not a big orange fan, you know. Okay, so um, 
here's where it's going, what it's going to replace, the TP-Link. And uh, I've already gone through the uh, new D-Link, like I said in a previous video. And uh, what I'm going to do, once, once I get it hooked up, I'll go through the admin pages and all that again, and, and you know, where you can see it well in, uh, in a desktop video. Because I had to end up pointing the camera at my laptop, and of course I was just it's a blurry, it's just a blurry picture is the best I can get with my little phone cameras, and, uh, and I just described what you know what I was doing and everything. But I did go through the wizard, and I'll, I'll, I went through the wizard, and everything worked until I tried to hit uh, exit to save it and get out of it, and it wouldn't work. It wouldn't wouldn't do anything. It just sat there, kept not responding. So finally, I closed it, and. Uh, and then I don't remember the details now, but I ended up rebooting it. I remember that, and and then I was in the admin pages, but it hadn't saved any of my work, and so I did it in the admin or setup pages, whatever you want to call it. So I was the admin pages, but I went to set up in the admin pages, and I set it up the way I wanted it, uh, with my passwords and stuff. I didn't want to leave the default passwords in there. Um, so um, they're supposed to be unique to each router, what I gathered, but. Uh, uh, there, um, let me mention that right now while I'm thinking about it. Uh, there has been a new vulnerability that affects most routers made, uh, and uh, a, a way that they figured out how to get into them uh, with these. Even though they're trying to make random passwords, they used predictable things, and I'm not going to go into it. There's videos online for it. I uh, can't think. I've showed before in previous videos where those are, but I can't think of the name of any of it right now. But uh, I'm trying to find my sheet, my note, to tell me what, the one thing I want to mention. Okay, that what it boiled down to for me was that I needed to know. I mean, I like learning about that stuff, but uh, some of my routers, I, I remember, they would default to TKIP or TKIP uh, encryption uh, along with AES and that will work that will and I left it on that because I thought well some of my older routers won't work Wi-Fi wouldn't work uh, you know because they don't do AES well that's what they can get into is a TKIP the easiest and anything can be got into if, if, you, if you know enough about you know all this stuff but uh, anyway th they said you'll pretty well be safe if you use I only use AES and WBA, WPA2, not on my notice, is not TKIP. So um, if I remember right, TKIP and AES are together. I probably wrote that down wrong. Uh, and don't use RC4 either. So um, WPA2 and AES is the combination of encryption that you want. And, um, and um, I'm reading on my note, disable... Oh, disable TKIP and R uh, RC4. Yeah, and uh, and I didn't know this until I got into the admin on this D-Link. It actually doesn't have those specific settings. It's uh, I didn't see them. It's kind of dumbed down. It's, they're trying to make it easier for you, but what it doesn't give you the. I did not see the ability to set this stuff the way you want to. So. I don't know. Uh, I did one of the reasons I bought it is because you can install uh, open source. It is a Linux uh, operating system that runs it, the firmware as they call it. Uh, and you can, uh, there is a DDWRT uh, available for it. So uh, if I don't, if it doesn't work well for me, then I could do that. Uh, kind of thought I might want to wait till the warning's out. But the number one thing for me is. Uh, security number two thing is how far the Wi-Fi or lead, you know how well it works that's the reason I bought a new router is because my my Trina, uh, TP link router is good router except for it's got a weak Wi-Fi signal and it dro drops down to about half I'm in one end of the house and then the living rooms in the middle and the garage is on the other end drops down to about half in the living room and then in the garage it just barely picks up at all you know and uh, I really, I have a repeater out there, a ZoneNet router that I turned in, that I set, it, it can be a repeater by default, and I turn, I turn it on as a repeater, and it makes you, where you can use it, uh, Wi-Fi out there, but it's when I want to, but uh, I don't like to leave it running all the time, because it's old, and its security's not as good, you know, but uh, it was a good router when it, uh, when I first got it, I liked it, but anyway, um, <clears throat> let's see, what's my next step, I've got to do this in steps, I um, 
you know, when I put this, now when I, when I, as soon as I, um, well, I could leave, as soon as I start unplugging things, and as soon as I disconnect this T, the TP link from the internet, then this live stream is going to, it's gone, you know. So, but I'm going to keep on recording onto my, uh, you know, onto my machine here, and then maybe later I'll upload the whole full video. I decided to just do it that way. And what I'll do is, you know, when I get to the point of unplugging everything, <clears throat> Then, which will be pretty soon here, uh, the live stream will have to stop. And I'll pick it back up again once I get the D-Link running again because it is already set up. <clears throat> and then I'll decide, uh, I realized, you know, uh, I'm doing it in the middle of the night because that way I don't have the internet down for everybody else in the house while you know they're asleep so it won't bother them right now. But then I, it hit me right a while ago. I was like, oh, wait. If I just set this up, and I was planning on turning off the using the TP-Link in my daisy chain of three routers for wired connection and turning off its uh, Wi-Fi, because I figure that the D-Link will walk on it and it will just make it even weaker. Uh, but now I realize, wait, if everybody's asleep, I can't uh, help them set their Wi-Fi up, you know, in their machines. So, and I go to bed, you know, I'll go to bed here, and, and then I'll be asleep while they're up. So, what I'll do is. Uh, Probably, well, I could turn off the, if it does walk on it, I'll turn off the, the Wi-Fi in the D-Link. It'd be kind of a pain to have to remember to get that all right. But I'll leave, well, I'll leave the Wi-Fi running on the TP-Link. It'll just be the second one in the daisy chain instead of the first one connected to the modem. That shouldn't bother anybody. Uh, it'll also be working as usual until I'm able to get with them and set everything up. So um, <clears throat> it's actually only two things. Uh, that aren't mine, and that would be a, a laptop and a tablet that I have to, you know, get get them set up. I can do testing with my laptop in here and with my phones. I'll use my phone app to test. So I'm thinking through it as I tell about it. Normally I would just go to it, but I <laughs> I wouldn't. I'm just now really able to kind of think it through. I haven't been feeling good. It's been almost a week since my last video because I haven't been feeling good and I just couldn't think straight to do any of this. So hopefully I'm uh, back together enough to do this today. Let's see. So <clears throat> I just went ahead and had the camera pointed at the um, I guess the first thing I'm going to need is a power supply going down to the oh I didn't think about that. I don't know where I'm going to plug it in. I didn't even think about it. That's always the that's absolutely the worst part because <laughs> it's got to go down in uh, here and under the desk, and I've got to fish it around and plug it in somewhere. I don't know where the uh, TP Link's plugged in. Let me. That's the first thing I guess I got to figure out is where is the TP Link plugged in. Okay, so uh, I don't plan on on you know stopping the video. I mean. Okay, now, let me see. i got to get something to... Here we go. I need to look under the desk. I didn't think about this, so I'm not even going to try to show what I'm doing here. But i got this thing. Maybe that'll... This grabber. I just need to wiggle that cable and look under the desk. I need to know where you're plugged in. see the thing the curtain moving but I can't see the cable I think I know about where it is though but actually I don't want to unplug it I need another spot to plug in so uh, I'm using all the plugs I have over here on this side there, underneath here I really don't want to crawl around it there's nothing but dust under there do not want to get in if I don't have to. <clears throat> so, let me put my grabber down somewhere. Okay, um, yeah, I do not want to unplug that because it's not coming out of the loop. Actually, the one that is coming out of the loop is this uh, net gear here. 
it's the oldest one that won it. I don't know where it's plugged in either. If I can reach, I don't know what I did with my, I was using my magnifying glass with the light for a light and now I don't know where I laid it. How did I manage that? <coughs> there it is, not only did I lay it down, but I laid it down on. I think I need my little grabber again. Okay. I'm pretty close to my subjects here, so it's not really... I could move the camera a little bit, but... This is... Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, okay, I found that one. So that's the one I can go ahead and unplug. I guess it doesn't matter if I, I was kind of like, well, I don't want to be. I didn't want to move the cameras anymore and I had to. But this one, okay. This looks like the point where, well, I'm gonna do a lot of plugging and unplugging. Wish I could get a wider shot. I can't really move my tripod anymore, so I don't think I can get a wider shot. Uh, yeah, now I know where that's plugged in, and I guess that's where the new one will have to plug in down there. So, uh, put that back up where I had it before, and I'll just, okay. So this one, I will just move over there to where the net gear is and put the D-Link there. And uh, I'll just do that right, do it right now. Let's see. I'll just put the, there's another one over there to the left of the, where the net gear is. The, uh, let's see if that's not gonna fit and not fall off. Yeah, it'll be all right. I might, I might have to put the, Train that on top of the TP link. It's a lot bigger. So here's what I'm going to end up with then. The uh, I could do it differently. There's nothing that says I'm banging into my microphone. Nothing that says that one. You know they have to be in the, that order. I think I will do that for now anyway. We'll uh, leave the TP link up here and put the new one down here where the doesn't fit so well though. Oh, it doesn't work. It really won't. It, it with the bent. Uh, I could set it on top of there like that. Uh, with the bent. Uh, cables, not cables, antennas. Can't carry anything off. Okay, with the bent antennas, you know what? I'm gonna. It's got lots of air space under there. It can sit. I don't. I used to stack them and they would get really hot because most of them are not much space in between them. But there is a lot of air space there. I think I can stack that safely. So let's get that, uh, I think what I'll do is, uh, normally I use a twisty to tie them onto one of the uh, antennas, but these, <laughs> these are big fat antennas, so that I don't drop my cable down behind the, the, into the abyss of dust back down here. But when I'm, you know, unplugging them and plugging them back in, see it's got, uh, Got a power button, there's where it plugs in, and then it actually has a hard switch to turn it, but to, it can be a repeater. You can switch it into a repeater, and then it has a reset button, and a hard reset you put where you'd stick a 
a paper, big paper clip or something. The yellow one is the internet port. The others is, you know, four LAN ports, local internet ports. And of course, see what I was wanting to do is make a safety so that that wouldn't get, I could, sometimes I tie them to another router. I've done that before, but that turns into a real pain. You go pick the other one up and it drags this one, you know, the other one with it, so. Yeah, that'll be alright. I just need, I think I'll just get me a longer twisty. That's just a real short one. I've got lots of twisties. So I'll get me a long one. And I will tie it to the, uh, <clears throat> I guess I'll show what I can of what I'm doing. I just don't want to forget it. Well, as long as I'm looking at my preview, I'll know I'm doing okay. Still saving all my stuff in case of any reason. I'll put that twisty back in the box it came out of. If there's any reason it has to go back, I want all the original stuff there. Let's see. I don't want to lose my. There's one. I thought I was going to have to dump them. That's what I was looking for. I won't have to dump anything out. Okay. And, uh, yeah, that'll work. Well, I'll tell you what, that's taking up a lot of twisty there. <laughs> that's all right. Yeah, let's. Yeah, let's put it on the cable first, and then, just like I usually do, just do one or two little twists to keep it and figure out where I want it on the cable. And now I can, actually I can fold that up to get it out of the way. I think if I do it with it folded, yeah, that'll be the easiest way to do it, with it folded. Now, you don't suppose being that there's a wire inside of that, that it would jack up any of the antenna. Uh, properties, we'll say. Let's see, I'm gonna, I know this was on before, so I'm gonna turn it off. Oh, that's on. I must have turned it off last time, because it, I'm sure it's on when it, it's, it stays in when you push it one way and out the other. That's probably off, so. Uh, Let's see. Not sure where I want those wires. Uh, how about up over the antenna? I'll get them more out of the way, I think. Is that going to be in the way if I fold it up? Not really. Yeah. I don't like it when they're sticking out and they poke. I'll just put it across the other antenna. I think, no, I don't like that. I'm being crazy. Let's see. How about just underneath the whole thing? Nope. The list in the way it is, I don't want it sticking out the front. I'd rather have it sticking out the back. All right, there we go. They are bendable to a certain extent, so there. Yeah, that'll be all right. Some of them, they'll they'll tend to the wires tend to stick out of the <clears throat> out of the insulation there, and then it starts poking you. I don't, I don't like that. Oh shoot! Just what I was afraid of. Forgot to switch the camera. Oh. Okay. Uh, now this is. Guess what? It could be too short. Especially with it tied up there like that, that takes another couple inches out of it. It looks really short now. Well, let's drop it down and see where it's going to reach to. It may not reach. I, I may have to plug it in where the... Uh, 
I'm going to have to end up getting under there. Well, at least it won't be long until I, after I do this, this I will probably be getting my bath anyway. Yeah, I don't like those danglies on my, that's a cardboard box with a cover, a cloth over it to make it look half decent where I'm storing stuff. But I don't like those, they're always going to be getting over that. I don't think they'll hurt the transmission, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. I won't be looking at it. Anyway, let's see where that landed. I think it needs to be where the TP link is plugged in is the only place it's going to reach to. Yeah. Um, it would take a major rework of cameras to show what I'm doing, so I'll just won't show it. Um, I, lost, I forgot what I was up. I was going to get a paper towel to wipe some dust off of something down there. Okay, now, uh, let's see. The, there is, should be markings on these to tell me which one's the TP link. I can't see the markings. Yeah, okay. So that is what I think I'm going to have to do is plot change where it's plugged in. It will just barely reach there, but I think the TP link, yeah, it's a little longer. It'll reach where the net gear is plugged in. What's this other one? I can't tell what the other one is. It may be the it's going up, so it may be the, uh, I think it might be the uh, TP link, uh, trend net, trend net. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know which one is the uh, net gear, and that's not anything to do with what I'm doing, so, yeah, that's the net gear. So I think it would be best to unplug it down here. Then I'll have the spot for it. And it's a huge transformer as these kind of transformers go. So uh, that's what I'll do. Pretty sure this other one it's the uh, I'm not sure I know what it is. Just leader electronics, LTE power supply. I don't know what it goes to, so I don't know what I've unplugged. But that'll be okay. I'll put it back. I don't think it had anything to do with what I'm, what I'm doing right now, so I don't think it would have harmed my <coughs> recording or anything. All right, now. Oh, now I don't have to unplug. Well, I don't think. Uh-oh, we may have a... No, that's good. No, that's not good. It won't fit that way. I think they're both the same type, but... It, Unless I can swap them with each other. I may have to go back to my original plan. But now I'm going to have to unplug the TP link. I thought I was going to get to leave it plugged in. Uh, so, what I'm going to do, I'll open the window a little bit because I knew it's going to be hot in here and it's still too hot. It's 39 outside, but it's a 79 in here. I'm going to open it some more. Okay, I'm um, going to have to stop the live stream. And uh, I'll just go to the desktop, open up the browser again. I'll check the live stream before I take off. But yeah, I'm gonna stop the live stream. And uh, And 
to keep recording and if any of it seems like it's of any use then I'll upload the, the, the long video with everything in it but it may not be able to see yeah that's the cool thing about OBS studio you got you can, you can stop the stream uh, and, and stop the recording separately well, actually you can have them t tethered together but I don't didn't want them that way because it cause uh, well in case I lost my connection to my live stream I wouldn't want to lose my I wouldn't want my recording to automatically stop so um, okay my stream's still good wait Oh, it was saying there's only 16 seconds, and I was like, oh, no, what the heck's been going on? But, uh, well, it's still saying 30 seconds. I wonder if my stream never worked. I thought maybe it just hadn't caught up to where I'm at yet. But I never stopped it. Stop streaming, stop recording. I don't know. It's like it started a new stream when I opened up the web browser. So I don't understand what's going on. I can hear myself talking, but not very well on the laptop. The volume's not up very loud. Oh, I kind of heard it. Let me open it up over here on the... But it shows that I'm still going over here. Well, it may be that I will on, the only way I will get this video online is to upload the whole thing. That's the thing, reason I, I record a, a back, you know, they call it a backup video. It is a backup video. That's why I record to the desktop, to the desktop or to, to the machine and to the internet, YouTube at the same time. In okay, case so I've had to, once or twice I've, I've had to do that and upload my backup. I don't know what would be wrong here. Oh, you know what? Maybe when I unplug that... Uh, well, it said TP... Maybe that other one said TrendNet on it instead of TP-Link. The one... Maybe the one I unplugged and plugged back in was my uh, TrendNet. But that's probably what happened. I probably broke my recording. Well, let's look. I'll look at my uploads. Yeah. I bet I'll have a live stream. Yeah. There, well, yeah, 29 minutes. Okay, and then the one that's going right now. So it automatically restarted once I plugged. I must have unplugged. That was the TP link then that I unplugged and plugged back in. Dang it. Okay. Well, at least I gave warning at the beginning there what I, uh, that I was planning on doing that. But, uh, okay. So, this is what happened. Okay. Well, at least I gave warning at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, what happened was I, uh, the one that doesn't tell you the TP link on it, I probably got them confused. I'll get down there and look uh, again, but I bet it says TrendNet on there, and I'm always getting confused between TrendNet and TP Link, especially when I'm crawled up under the desk and having a hard time, you know, doing what I'm doing. And I'm just using this little light here on the, this little light on the magnifying glass. But <clears throat> anyway, um, so what I'm going to have to do is. Uh, Wait, I've already started and stopped the live stream, haven't I? So I guess as long as I don't uh, do any more, yeah. I won't stop the one I got going because it's going. Unless I have to unplug that same one again. That's what I'll do. Well, I am going to have to unplug all the cables and everything. And that's going to mess it up. That was my next thing. I'll leave it as it is until I understand what the heck I'm doing here. Yeah, four minutes. I'm trying to figure all this out. Okay. So, um, let me get back on the camera. Let's close that. 
I don't need the web browser to stop my stream. I do it in OBS Studio. So, okay. <clears throat> yeah. Well, while I'm talk, while I'm still going here, let me get down here and double check what I think I figured out. I may have read that off right, but my brain didn't receive it right. get more light. That says TP link. So I don't know what killed my stream. So I didn't unplug the TP link. But the one that I did unplug, which I th uh, I know my machine's plugged into the TP link that you know so but what I unplugged and plugged back in must have been what interrupted my stream. But the problem I'm having is there's not enough room. I don't know. There's one other thing plugged into this. <coughs> oh, that's what I can do. There's one other thing plugged into this. Uh, cyber power backup thing which doesn't back up anymore. It's only, uh, I quit working. And even though I put a new, I bought a new battery for it, it still wouldn't work. Anyway, the one that I moved over, it's got plenty of extra cable. I figured it was the TrendNet router, is what I thought. And, uh, and it must be, but, so I don't know why my stream stopped and started back up. TP-Link, okay. But I don't think it will do me any good. They're, they're turned the wrong way to fit. They both turn that long and skinny, but they won't fit on this thing good. They don't fit on anything good. They're, they're, the darn plugs were turned the right way. It would be great, but they're not. But I believe I can. It just barely reaches. Is the thing. It actually doesn't matter where I put it. It barely reaches. I don't know what this white cable goes to. They go to my monitor, or not sure what. I don't think my monitor has a white cable, though. It doesn't. So whatever it is, maybe another computer or something, or another power strip. Maybe. I don't think it's my other power strip. No, it's not. Okay. Okay, so I think if I just move it... Okay, hopefully I won't jack anything else up. But I think I can just move it. Now, boy, that doesn't work good. But it does make it. It is so tight. Okay, now, it's plugged in. And my, uh, I guess I should have made a video under here, spending the whole time under here make, doing, it, doing my work. Okay, now let's unplug the, uh... <clears throat> now it didn't come on, but it sh I didn't plan on it coming on because I had it turned off. Let's see if it's going to come on. Yeah, it comes on. Okay, it's not plugged up yet, but okay, now I will unhook the, uh... unhook the power supply from the not much holding on to it. I mean, I have a twisty on it. I hook the power supply from the net gear. It's the one I want to take out of here. And, uh, yeah, I was right about that. So, put a little twisty on it of some sort. have to transfer cables over I thought that I would show try to show this part because it's 
pretty tricky to figure out how to do all this. I'm going to turn this back off. And I'm used to it, so I thought, well, I mean, I've been doing it for years now, for about 17 years. Play it. So, uh, I thought it might be good to show it. And, uh, I'm going to get my web browser up on my laptop since I've, that way I can look and see what's going on. Let's see. Okay. <clears throat> now, I don't really have to unplug them to do the swapping now that I think about it. I think that I won't put the... Uh, I'm gonna make, I'll figure out how to get this new router to fit down in the, down lower, because the cable just barely makes it, period. I mean, it was really pulled tight and it was not good. So if I'm gonna stack anything, it'll be the uh, TP link on top of probably the, I mean, the trend net on top of the TP link, I guess. And the net gear is coming out. I'm gonna have to transfer everything. I'm gonna have to figure that out. I'm trying to figure out where to put these things as I work. Okay, let's see. Um, I guess I should give myself a yeah, there we go. Change the view a little bit. Okay. You know what? I'm going to fold up the antennas until I'm done. That's the thing that it's... Until I'm ready for them. That's the thing that's giving me trouble. I have it plugged in, and it's on a short leash, that's for sure. Okay, so... Yeah, everything that's on the TP link now needs to go onto the trend net and instead of I'll probably turn off the TP link and uh, so let me see yeah I'm gonna stop this stream this time and then start it back up because well wait I'm trying to think what's the best way I mean if if it picked itself back up before let me check on the stream time if it picked itself back up before, then I guess that might be the way to do it. Uh, I just realized my my little bookmarks on the, uh, are different on this uh, browser than the other one. I thought they synced and were the same, but. Uh, It picked itself right back up. That's what I'll do then. I won't, I'll just leave it playing there so that I can monitor it. I can look over at the laptop and go back to my camera and do my business. And the stream will drop in and out, but my, automatically, okay. So, um, let's see. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure which way to turn these antennas to get them out of the way. Okay, now this is my one going to the modem. This is going to kill the stream. And I'm not going to turn on the uh, D Link router until I get everything transferred. And let's see what's what here. Oh yeah, I had thought, well I won't do that now. I thought I'd use the one that comes with the D-Link for the going to the router. That is what I wanted to do. Okay, that's what I'll do. Put that back in there. This will probably bring the stream back up. Oh well. If I can get it plugged in. There. Now. You know, I got 30, I guess I have 30 seconds of leeway there. I have it on a 30 second delay. 
but uh, I think it'll start a new stream though but uh, we'll see what happens <coughs> Okay, um, yeah, this is, it's more, probably, I think, more challenging than normal because I'm really slow thinking right tonight. But what I'm going to do then is plug that in. I can't move my camera over anymore so that you can see them both at the same time. So my cable that came with it, plug it into the... Uh, Router and then, yeah, it'll reach the modem, I believe. Let's make sure. I won't be able to do that with that cable if it won't reach it good. And this will be in its place that it's been in. Yeah, and it, well, I'll know for sure which one it is, too. So that won't be a bad thing. I've got sound cables. Those are audio cables that are hanging all over the place there. Going to my... Going to my... Um, Okay, so the modem, there it is, and that's the one I'm going to unplug. Okay, now my stream's down again. And, uh, plug this one into the modem. Now the modem will end up having to be rebooted with the new router. Matter of fact, I'm going to do that right now. You just unplug it and uh, plug it back in do that now. I guess I should plug in the router. I mean turn on the router so that it can accept the modem's new IP address. If it's not on it won't. Well it might have worked fine the other way. Let's just have it on. And then the uh, white one will be the day it will be the link going from the D link to the uh, Actually, I won't want it in the WAN port anymore, will I? I ought to look at all that and make sure I know what the heck I'm doing. But uh, I'm waiting for the uh, white light to come on on the... Uh, looks kind of white in the video to me, but it's orange. And then I'll turn the modem back on. So I know we're not going to have no stream while all this is going on. And... Uh, I don't know why it's still counting like it's working on the YouTube video. Okay, that's not coming on. Oh, maybe it, we're not going to turn white until it gets a connection, uh, an IP from the modem. It doesn't, as uh, long as the modem's sending out an IP, then it'll be fine. Okay, now, while I have that in my hand, let's see. Uh, sometimes the, these ones that don't have a connect, pr protector for the... Uh, For the clip, sometimes I'll wrap them up. I think I better do that. Wrap it up in tape so that I can't, I don't break it. I've broken several of them in the last. I've broken more in the last couple of years than I ever did before. Sometimes I'd forget that and start pulling around on them. Well, when that modem gets back to, I cannot figure out. Oh, now it's white. See the little white light on the... So you can see that it's white now. Yeah. So now it's up, ready to receive everything like it should. Now this... Oh, yeah. I just need to pull it through like that. I think I'll put my modem back down in that spot where I keep it. And I may not have to reboot it again during all this. <coughs> okay. Let me look at one of these others. Can't even remember if I use the WAN port or the just a port. I think I use the WAN port going up to the next router. Yeah. Okay. 
So I want to plug the, uh, yeah, the one, leave it on the WAM port on the uh, TP link. That'll, and that'll be allow me to daisy chain them together. This is kind of part of what I thought would be good to show. And I can't turn this the way I want to, although I've been flipping it over. So this one will be on, doesn't really matter. Now I've got to get my tape off of it and it's always hard to get off. Let me get a knife. I'm going to go over here and open the window some more. I'm burning up. I can't hardly breathe in here. It's 39 degrees outside, I think. Yeah, 39. Or, well, not maybe not right here, but it's not going to be the same. That's in Fort Worth. I'm in Hazel. Let me turn my... i got an outdoor antenna. Flip it to outdoor. It's 79.9 here. And I'm just burning up. Okay. The heater keeps coming on, and I, I don't want to change it because then everybody else will be cold. But, oh, I can't even breathe. Starts making me feel sick to my stomach. Heat pouring it on you. It's like one of those movies, you know, where the heaters, the, the giant heater stuck on and it's burning everybody up. And they gotta kill it, but they can't because it's alive and it knows what it's doing. It's got AI. Ours is automatic. You're supposed to switch from heat to cool automatically. Maybe it's, maybe it's become alive on I me. Mean, it's just not doing what it's supposed to. Of course, right now it shouldn't be on cool, but it doesn't do that right either. All right, so uh, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Dang it. That's the one thing I hate. Uh, it's the quickest thing for me to grab as well and the cheapest tape to use, you know, uh, scotch tape. But I can't see it to get it back off. I just kind of, right now I can't see good at all. Usually I can, if I cut it, this is coming off in pieces. It's driving me crazy. Usually if I cut it, it'll, it'll come off, you know, in one or two pieces. But it's, it's just coming off in lots of pieces. That'll be crazy here. That's why I hesitate to do that, but every time I don't do it, when I have a feeling I should do it, I break one of these and they're useless without them. I had about 12 re replacement ends and I've reused all but one. And I can't, and like I said, I can't see, so it's dang near impossible. I haven't used that once for some of the other, I've got two or three cables that need a new end on them now. I haven't done it because I can't see and my hands don't work good half the time either. All right, so that one, the little shorty there, that used to go to the modem, which is also very contrary, doesn't bend good, wants to fight you, is going to go from port which one is how they're numbered and I can't see it no matter what I do. I do have a big light. I guess I need a little more light. Here. There. There. I don't know if that's better or worse on the video, but I gotta see what I'm doing, so I keep forgetting about that. I've been fuzzing or fuddling around here in the dark when I had a light I could turn on. Can't read those numbers no matter what I do. There. Four is the last one. Okay. So I think I'll put the, doesn't really matter, but you know, if you know where everything is, then it helps you a lot.
Okay. Uh, well, it's been black for a while because I didn't think this through well. Uh, when I unplugged my um, Lenovo i5 from the TP-Link router, well, all the uh, even though it's still running, all of the cameras are going over Wi-Fi to uh, you know, and it's to the TP-Link router. And so when I unplugged the Lenovo i5, it's, I disconnected it from all the Wi-Fi cameras. I didn't think about that. So, uh, you know, the only thing I have that would work, I, was, I rebooted it, uh, the, the router. I plugged it back in there and rebooted it, but they didn't come back up yet. I thought I rebooted it, at least. Like the Interscope should be working. Yeah, there it is. And I turned on the, uh, you know, the SM58 mic. My, my uh, wireless mic's not working course because it's on Wi-Fi so uh, I don't think I think I just need to do my stuff get my wiring done and then st start my video again later that is the only thing I can do really it okay so uh, that's what happened um, so I guess I will go now because yeah, I can't even, I'm getting to where I can't, it's hard enough just to think of how to wire it. I can't think about doing the video and the wiring, I'm obviously not getting anything right. So, um, I'll show what I got plugged up just for, maybe for my own records here. I can't talk, I can't get at the mic at the same time. So, the, I don't know, the, I couldn't aim very well. So I'm going to stop this video because I'm going to have to just do all my wiring and I can't show it really. I mean, I could if I was using a regular webcam, I guess, but uh, I wouldn't have my Wi-Fi mic. So I'm just going to do it and then I'll probably just show how I did it. Uh, that'll work in the, as best, I guess. All right.